Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on system of conic equations. We are faced with uh, not something we see every day. This is actually two conic equations. Now, to classify each of the conic solutions, conic equations could be overwhelming. There is a cheat sheet I give to my students that's posted on my channel, Tucson Math Doc channel. So if you can look it up under conics, it give you a really good overview. So hopefully by watching that, or maybe you already know this, this one screams at you as either ellipse or circle because of this adding sign here. Okay, so let's do a little bit of cleaning up by adding something, subtracting something, plus 39 equal to zero. So I'm cleaning up the first one. The reason I'm doing here is I want to have a rough idea of what we have by completing square here. So I added a number, subtracted it right away so I don't change what I started with. And the number I'm going to add in here is take half of the coefficient here, divided by two, or coefficient divided by two, i.e. half of the coefficient squared of 64. And this, you can see it, it's a circle that's shifted with a center at zero and eight, and radius is five. Okay, so that's a pretty easy hopefully straightforward thing for you. Okay, now second thing here is y squared minus x squared equal to nine. And because this sub subtraction sign, once again, hopefully I'm not going too quick on you. Check out on this conics if it's not clear. Anyway, back onto this minus sign, give us us the hyperbolas. It's on the y because this is the positive curve and it's dividing by nine so you have y squared over three squared minus x squared over three squared equal to one, which tells us the asymptotes is actually a square box. It's the best of my square I can get. Okay, so I'm drawing an asymptotes to give you some idea what this curve is gonna look like. It's a hyperbola facing up and down or facing up north and south. Okay, so basically you have a circle, zero, eight up here, with a circle, so we're looking for inter intersections between those two points. Okay, classification of this curve does give you some idea what you're dealing with, so you don't feel like you're blind, at least I don't feel like uh, solving a conic equation without knowing what I'm looking at. Now, if we combine this by adding equation one to equation two, we can trick the system in that we can cancel x squared which is really what we like to do because with x squared and y squared, it's not a pleasant system to solve. Okay, fortunately for us, this is a relatively easy equation to solve, plus 15 here equal to zero. y minus three, y minus five, gave us, us a pretty good looking answers. x equal to, uh, y equal to three, y equal to five. Now from here, substitute back to the easier equation. Let's see, let's substitute back in y squared minus x squared minus nine equal to zero, or x squared is equal to y squared minus nine. We can go ahead, go ahead and find what the corresponding x values are. Now before we do that, let's take a little math break. I got this in National Geographic magazine. Take a look at this. They uh, froze a rose and shoot a bullet through it. Here's the bullet, so you can see the rose frozen pieces are blasted off. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, back to math. So we figure out that y equal to three, y equal to five. So when y equal to three, we have x equal to zero. When y equal to five, x squared is equal to, let's say 9, 25, 16. So x equal to 4 or x equal to minus 4. So basically, we have three intersections. Yes, three intersection points are 0, 3, 4, 5, and minus 4 and 5. Eh, nothing spectacular, but it was kind of pretty cool. Nothing messy when we get to the answer. 
Well, I hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.